Live from Wendy's apartment in New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show at Home Edition. Now, here's Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> I just got off the phone with my uh, future sister-in-law. Well, one of the great things that has happened in our small family is that my nephew Travis is now engaged and he allowed me to be a part of the diamond picking process and he surprised her and they've been together for so many years that she's been a part of our family for so many years and she's so joyful and happy and we all know her and the whole bit. So they're engaged and they're expecting, which means I'm gonna be a great aunt. That means a lot, especially in a small family and especially with this virus thing and nobody can talk to each other and you know the whole bit. So I'm really happy for them. And um, I hope you're doing well. You know, you have to grab small pieces of happiness. For me, I craft also, like I'm creative. You know, this is just a random, um, you know, jar of uh, gummies from a hotel that I stayed in. But you know what I did? I had these knobs left over in Jersey. These were our kitchen knobs for the cabinets. They're Swarovski. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? You see, my kitchen cabinets are wood. There's no knobs involved. I'm trying to spread these knobs everywhere I can. I'm putting them on the most ridiculous stuff. I had 91 knobs. Swarovski, hmm. I like good. I work a good job. So look, right? Don't you love this? And you just go in. <laughs> and when these gummies run out, I'll replace them with something else. But point being is that I love them. I've put them everywhere. It's so ridiculous. Do you see this piece right here over my shoulder, this orange piece? I don't know if you can see, but I put six to hold this up. <laughs> that pot, the orange pot. They're all over the house. They're screwed into dressers. They're screwed, uh, well, not screwed in, but glued, which is why you need the good glue. But <laughs> it's creative, right? <laughs> Boofy, do you want a gummy? You have to take it with a fork. No, thank you. Okay, perfect. He hasn't coughed once since he's been here, which <laughs> he's, <coughs> no, Boof, that was a fake cough. <laughs> he's being stupid. Um, anyway. Oh, you know what I've also done during this break? I did a project with a child, Jack. That's Suzanne and Brendan's son. And Jack is only in sixth grade, right? Um, they were asked prior to New York City and Tri-State Public Schools being closed, they were asked to do a report on somebody that you really admire. What the admiration is going on? <laughs> so I was on the phone with Jack and we're talking and he's asking me very intellectually, I might add. The problem is, is that the day after we did the project together and I was hoping he'd get an A because I was definitely, you know, plugged into what he was talking about. Then they closed the schools. So I don't know whether he'll get an A, a B, or an F. Oh, story of my life. Story of my life. I want to get back to work. I miss, I miss um, you. And I love being home. It's so peaceful. Booth bought toys for the cats. The cats have not appeared one time since I've been down here. Now I'm thinking live from New York, it's the Wendy Williams show from her apartment, starring Wendy, featuring Kit Kat, uh, Chit Chat in My Way. 
Check, check, my way. Get down here. This is your chance. This is your chance. You girls love a good camera. <laughs> um, I don't know where they are. Upstairs, playing. Hmm. Anywho, Boof, uh, can you please hit your computer? Because I cannot see any reminders of any stories. You have no idea what kind of operation is going on around here. Tristan's on the phone. There are 20 people who've got to look at this before they okay it going by. Well, you know what, 20 people, you look at these, okay? We are working our way through hiatus. Okay. Oh, Megan McCain is pregnant. Yes, from The View. Megan, good for you. I like her. Like, I, I like that show. So she and her husband, Megan is 35, and they're going to find out whether they're expecting a boy or a girl really soon. Much like my nephew. I don't care whether they have a boy or a girl. I am ready to spoil licious and be the great aunt. I am so ready for it. I mean, when I found out they were pregnant, I was like, look, if you guys want to go away on vacation and you want me to take care of the baby, I'll do it for a weekend. But I'll do it. I'll get a bassinet. The whole, the whole bit. Like, I, I'll do a whole baby thing. I'm built for that. I don't want one of my own. And I don't want to be a stepmom. But I'll be a great aunt. And I'll be a good one. If it's a girl, I already have her first pair of diamond earrings. Really teeny, tiny, small ones. The first pair that I ever got in my life. You know? So, you know... Um, Megan and her family are really excited about the news, and now she's trying to find the strength to keep up her role at The View. Megan, you better keep that role at The View. You better find that strength. So, But she's got to stay home for that anti-social thing that we're all doing. So I guess she'll probably broadcast from home. Megan, what I would suggest, though, is put on a light beat because, girl, I got to tell you, there are a lot of people broadcasting from home and they look hella horrible, men and women. Now, I'm not going to call out names. All I'm saying is, you know, if you're going to broadcast from home, you don't look like you just rolled out of bed in a lumberjack shirt with effed up hair, sitting in front of a camera talking about stuff. That's not what, like, that's not, you know, you might make fun of me. You always do. I could give, pick a finger. Okay. But the thing is, is that I'm trying to put together something to look reasonably presentable. Morel is not here. I don't want him breathing on me with the makeup brushes. You know, I do my own thing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Eyebrows, throw on a wig. All right. It's only me and Boof here and the cat's upstairs. Um, but... You can't broadcast from home and look a hot mess. And that's what I find 75% of people are doing. Just because we have Corona doesn't mean you have to give up on visible hygiene. Ooh, yep, I said it. Boof, you took, a you, you took a shower this morning? Yes. Yeah, and you, you smell nice. Thank you. And your hair is cut. Do you do it yourself? No. Okay, your guy come. Like, how are you keeping your line set up? Um, I don't know. It's I don't know. It just happens to work out right now for the time being. And you have on nice sneakers. Thank you. What is what are those? These are Nike Prestos. Uh, Nike Prestos. Yeah, something limited. But all I'm saying, Boof, you understand what I'm saying? Have you seen some of these people broadcast from home? I've seen. Do and, you uh, see that a lot of them look like stone cold slobs? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see where you, I see, I can understand what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm in here trying to do the best I can in my home office. And this is all you're going to say. You all keep asking me about show me around your house. No, you know, I, I feel bad enough that you're here. I feel invaded upon, but I did have to put on something for you. 
All right, so Lamar Odom and his uh, Sabrina Parr, okay, they are documenting their relationship on FUBU streaming service. Now, I don't know what that is. I haven't even found Zeus. I should call um, our guy from Shark Tank. Boof. What is FUBU streaming? What is that? I don't know. Dame, uh, but, uh, Damon John. Yeah, that's his uh, thing, right? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. And Lamar and Sabrina, nobody cares about you all's relationship. But, um, you know, Sabrina is a life coach, but she's got a whole bunch of um, arrest pictures at the police precinct. And Lamar says he's a sex addict and they say they don't want to have sex until they get married. Lamar has two kids here in New York and grown um, uh, that I don't know what kind of time he spends with these kids. I, I don't even feel, you know what? I feel dirty doing the story. Boof, do you know anything about these people? Uh, I just really know about Lamar Odom because I follow basketball. So, There's no more, uh, excuse me, basketball booth. Yeah, but I just know him from, you know, when he was playing basketball. But I didn't really, really follow their personal life. Well, I do. Yes. Yes, you, you do. You know nothing. No, I know nothing. All right. Just press the buttons then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so stupidly cute. Uh, what are you going to do after this? Uh, back to Go doing what I always do. Back to the clubs, back to the tour. No, 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 no. I'm talking about tonight. Oh, tonight I'm going to... Go home. Go home and do uh, club quarantine. What is that? That thing that Me you... Me just were... DJ on my Instagram live and get people to, you know, play some music for people just to, you know, get their mind off of whatever is going on right now, you know? I like the TV. Yeah. Better than the music. I'm sorry. You know I like the music. Yeah. So the Kardashians, there's this new book coming out uh, based on uh, the sex tape with Kim. And the Kardashian family is trying to block it. Well, I don't know why. Everybody's already seen the sex tape. So what are you going to block? What are you going to... Hey, hey. Boof, have you ever seen it? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. I've seen it. And that's it. It's it, like, all right, what's next, Boof? Get the finger in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda Bynes. She's pregnant, which good for her. She's uh, TMZ is reporting. She's got this guy in her life and her dad and the guy are planning on snatching the newborn as soon as the baby is born from Amanda. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Like you're about to give birth to somebody that you might never know because your father and the baby's father are trying to snatch us. I don't know what's going on with that. Amanda does not yet realize that she's losing custody. That's what I'm being told, according to TMZ. Um, we're told that she did not get pregnant in an attempt to get out of her conservatorship. It was just kind of, oops. Now, see, mm -hmm. Amanda is wanting a child for a while, and it's horrible that um, all this is brewing around her. And, well, I guess if she watches this YouTube, then she'll know that they're trying to take custody. Oh, okay. What's next? Oh, oh. Mm. All right, they're telling me I have to hang up you all because I only have 15 minutes per day. So, and away I go. Cheers.